Every time I've said to people, oh, I'm seeing the Seven Wonders, and they go, oh, that's nice, where have you been? They go, I've got to go to India. And they sort of like, oh, India. You know, that's like, you, you know, it's not good, is it? They always mention the, the, you know, getting ill, the deli belly thing. You know, not having control of your own bowels. It's a bit of a fear for me, that. Because I like going to the toilet, um, probably more than most, I'd say. I'm, I'm a bit of a fan of it. The office got you these in. Are these for real? These are adult... These are nappies. Ultra-absorbent, all-in-one briefs. I can't do this. Seriously, that's, uh... Nah. Thinking of travelling around, having a long day out in the heat, and being stuck with them on, full. I'll take a couple. But I wonder if, like, putting something like this on is almost accepting that I'm going to shit myself. I wonder if I don't have these on, if, in my mind, my brain will sort of say to me, belly, don't be shitting yourself a day, we're out, we're out for eight hours, nine hours, we've got no more undies, sort yourself out. Whereas if I have that on, by the time I get up in the morning, I might just start getting used to it. Emptying myself all the time, and then I come home and like a girlfriend's going, "What's that smell?" And going, "Oh, I forgot. We're still wearing the nappies." I just think you've got to train your body to be able to handle this stuff. I might take this this bucket with me just for when I'm out and about on the road, because that's that's mine, isn't it? That's my personal toilet. But it's just odd as well, isn't it? You know, a bloke from England, and everyone I meet, I'm walking around with that in my hand. Right, Taj Mahal. Wow, that's amazing. Stood there with that. But, you know, when Joanna Lumley goes, or Lenny Henry, you don't know if they're taking one of these, because on those sort of programmes, they wouldn't feature it. If I bumped into Joanna Lumley in the street, you've been to India, haven't you? Yeah, have you? You take a bucket? Oh, yeah, plenty. Took about three of them. It shouldn't be a dilemma, this, should it? Very lovely to be in a cave for one night. Is it? Marvellous. It's marvellous. Great. We actually used to live in one of these caves in here, in Katra. It's better than a palace. So you, the... you move around from cave to cave? Well, it's lovely to be in a cave, but you know what I mean? Not really. It's a great, better than a palace, cost you a million of dollars. Where, where are you from? Because your accent's all sort of all over. Uh, right. It's from a tourist, actually. From a tourist. You're a tourist? No, from the tourist. You're picking up different things? Yeah, that's all. That's how come. Because you've got kind of got, sometimes you go to Birmingham and then it's all over Australia. People, and people say that, but I haven't been down to UK. No, not at all. Not at all? That's, that's where's that, not at all? All oh, right. All right. I think about it, you know what I mean? That was Cornish then, about it. Yeah, that people yeah. say that. I didn't know. About it. That's Bristol. You're knocking around with all sorts, eh? It's the weirdest mm. voice I've ever heard. I mean, the people actually come down to Petra, so when you met people and talk to them, I hear how the accent they speak it up. They pick it up, I pick it up. So you hear how they talk, and then you... Talk. Yeah, you copy it. You'll be sounding like me tomorrow. Mm, right, I like it. Do you know him? Is he a neighbour? Yeah, yeah. Talking about living at the extremes and experiencing the extremes of life, you need someone tomorrow who believes themselves to be Jesus Christ. There is, a, there, is a, there is a psychological condition known as the Jerusalem Syndrome in which people who travel to that most spiritual of places start to believe that they themselves to be Jesus Christ. This is exciting, man. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you before I come home. All right, good one. Have a good one, mate. All right. I don't know. Yeah. It's gonna be here any minute. I'm waiting here. 
Yes. What time are you seeing him? What? What time have you got an appointment with him? No, I, I don't have an appointment with him. I'm not a journalist. I'm with him. All right. So you know him? Yes. Which side of town does he live on? Oh, here he is. Oh, this is yeah. him, this is him. It's got to be him, hasn't it? Met Jesus today. I never thought I'd be doing that in my life. He turns up in a robe on, beard, gets off his moped. That he calls a donkey, apparently. He makes it try and look, he makes it look more like a donkey by putting blankets over it. Looks nothing like. People of Israel, you must be holy. Otherwise, you have a problem with your father, God. Hang on a minute, I was here first though. Are these lot jumped the queue now? Is that it? Have I got to wait behind these? No, they're not in the queue, they're just in our curiosity. Oh. How are you doing? Steve sent me. Thank you. What? Steve, I'm here to see you. Okay. Can I sit down? Of course, sir. Oh. He'd sort of go, sit down, my son, or whatever. None of that. He sort of shook me hand and said, I carried on arguing with someone else. Some of it in, you know, in a language you don't understand. I don't know what's happening, really. No, I'm not talking French, sir. Go away. Learn Hebrew. Do some Russian things. Drink water. It's one of them people who starts to answer your question before you finish with the question. So you, you feel like you have to do this? Why? Then? Oh, I questions again. Maybe the real one was like that. I mean, you know, we don't know, do we? This is going to happen everywhere he goes. It's pointless. It's like knocking about with Jordan or something. Do you know what I mean? That's, this is what's going to happen. I have a health problem. Let me touch your vest and cure me. Leave me alone, you crazy friend guy. May I touch your vest, Michelle? Don't touch my nothing, please, friend. I can't touch his vest. You know, it's like, it's like Elvis, isn't it? It's like Elvis. If, if he wasn't dead, would he still be a legend today? That's how I feel with that. I just think he would have been better off not coming back. I've had enough. Can't we just go and see Petra? Seriously, I think I've, I've played the game. Steve said, see Israel, get involved. I've... Yeah. Are we going this way, then? What? Toilet roll, okay. suntan lotion. Please. Fuck me. Good. I don't like snorkeling, messing about in the sea. It's dangerous. This is chicken fish. Chicken. Yeah. This chicken fish has a little "don't touch" sign. Yeah. I know that because a little bit dangerous. The fact it's called Dead Sea. Dead. There's a little bit of violence there in the name. But in the end, they got in. Couldn't really relax, though. I'm not good at swimming. I don't like the breathing thing. The water's really deep. That worries me. And there's fish in there. I saw one of these. It was either a chicken fish or the lionfish. And I was floating there, looking down, I saw it, it was it was coming up, coming up like that. And it's poisonous. That's a thing, that's a chicken. This is okay. This is a chicken. And the thing is, you can't moan, can you? You can't get in there, then moan when one stings you. I'm in its area. That's entitled to do what it wants. I've just seen one of them chicken things. I thought it said they were weren't around here. Some weird looking things in the world, don't they? Or if you'd be watching this, you go, yeah, you're one of them. Just this.
cactus. Cactus, isn't it? They're like nature's barbed wire, aren't they? Ugly though, isn't it? Don't you think? Oh, it's got some flowers on it. That's weird. I wonder if that's them evolving. Because, like, people can't stand these. Nature's sort of gone. Let's make them look a bit better. I mean, it looks, looks daft. Because you've kind of got the anger. And then a nice bit. You can't... It's almost like having a... I don't know, sticking lipstick on a fat woman in leggings. It's like you've got to do more than that. a good night though. I like watching people dance. I mean that's, in a way, I was sat there thinking this is what I'd be doing if I was at home. As I was sat there, I had a drink, a packet of biscuits and was watching dancing and most of the time Suzanne's watching Dancing on Ice or Strictly Come Dancing or whatever. So it was just like being at home. No difference at all really. Uh, and then she came over, you know, that woman, to get up. And I thought, oh, is she on her own? Do you know what I mean? I was, all these scenes go through your mind, like, as her husband just died and she comes here every week and she needs someone to dance with and all that, and you think, oh, I best just get up. She had a dance, I think she was quite happy. Made her night. I was quite chuffed with myself, and then I looked round, and she's with another fella, bald fella with a moustache. So she's just, you know, she's not choosy, really. I mean, I'm glad I got first dibs over in, but I was a bit like, oh, she just goes for anyone. She's not even that bothered. really loves himself to the point of you know full tan waxing you know really well built fellas and all like you sort of go oh, look at him bit of a knobhead but here that's sort of just normal so maybe you do become a little bit more like oh where's me you know where's me lip stuff where's me lip uh, balm and all that it's the way of life here they look after themselves this morning I had a bit of paprika I've never had that but it was there and I thought why not? It looks quite cooling and fresh, healthy. So, you know, if I lived here, I'm having that every day instead of a crumpet or a pikelet or toast with jam on, it's going to have a knock-on effect, isn't it? Suddenly start getting a better body and I go, oh, I look, I look pretty good now. Oh, I might, I might have a facial done and, oh, I'll have my nails done. Before you know it, walking down here with a thong on.
Just play in um, Connect Four. Isn't it for two players? Well, it is. When it was designed, it is. But you can play it on your own if you play it blind and you sort of say to yourself, right, I'm playing as red this time. And then you just stick them in with your eyes shut. They are, twice or one. What else do you play? Um, just anything, anything that's easy like this or uh, like University Challenge. I never know the answers to them. It's really difficult questions, so I normally just guess who it is who's going to get it right on the panel. Just watch the programme and go, yeah, that one looks intelligent. That one's going to get it. Because I never know any of the... Um, I'm going yellow this time. You never know any of the answers anyway. They're really hard, aren't they? <laughs> no one won.